What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video, and in today's video, guys, me going over the Lamech Hell and Extreme Difficulty Guide, and the free-to-play friendly teams that you guys are going to be able to use to actually clear both the Hell and Extreme Difficulty for all the rewards in the Exchange Shop, so let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. If you guys like videos like this, these guides, um, tutorials, anything like that, I pretty much cover it all on the channel. So if you guys are, uh, you know, tuning in for that type of content, definitely make sure to subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's hop in and let's talk about both the Hell difficulty and the, uh, you know, Extreme difficulty as well and the free-to-play team comps that we actually ran. All right, guys, so starting with the Hell difficulty, shout out to my uh, guildmate, Scarison. We actually were running um, a, a few comps here that we actually wanted to test out, right? So we have, obviously, um, this main comp that we're actually going to be running here is going to be the Trader Meliodas, uh, Summer Dian, Green Gother on one side, right? So this is going to be uh, one of the sides that people run. And then the other side is actually going to be Freyer, Trader Melly, and Kizuna. So you only need one Summer DN with this team comp, right? Somewhat free-to-play friendly. Um, you need either, you know, double Summer DN or you need one Summer DN, one Kizuna. Either or, you're still able to clear this. And this is still a really uh, solid comp. So let's hop in and let's show you guys. Um, in terms of the gear that I was running on my characters, Attacker Damage Trader Meliodas, HP Defense uh, Halloween Gother, Attacker damage blessing the end and then we have HP defense a lane in the back line just to give us that CC because hell is a little bit high in the CC department you actually do need a total of 550,000 CC um, across both you and your partner's team um, so yeah if you're able to do that then you should be uh, good and okay um, but yeah that's going to be Scarison's team right there as you guys can see in terms of the artifact cards and uh, yeah let's hop in so I'm going to be able to show you guys what we are actually able to do on the mech hell difficulty so um, in terms of hell difficulty guys I would recommend only doing this if you have these types of characters because hell is such a difficult um, you know fight you can just do extreme right um and you should be okay and you can just like tr uh, exchange up the materials and that probably works out as well um but yeah man regardless uh this is what you do so you do a rank up um you let your partner do their thing i would actually suggest you do the keys and above turn one actually instead um because my side with the summer dn actually can kill after getting the keys and above right because i'm doing the rank three single target so i would actually recommend um that on this turn instead of actually uh you know because uh Scarson here did the double single target instead of him actually doing that i would have suggested him actually do the Kizuna buff turn one so if you do the Kizuna uh, attack card buff and then you would do like a, uh, a follow-up attack card as well and that's it and I can pretty much cover uh, with the summer DN side I can pretty much cover the rest of the damage right as you, as you guys will see here it's a lot of damage with the amplify um, so we do hit and boom look at that 870k right so just a lot of damage Kizuna is obviously amplifying the amount of damage you're able to deal moving into the second phase here as we move in, we do get a go through stack. And right here, I actually do my single targets here with um, uh, Summer Deanne. And then also with the AoE with the um, Summer Deanne as well. A single target with Trader Melly as well. Um, and this is where I would have, uh, instead of Scarison doing the buff uh, this turn, as you guys see, I would have had him do it on the first turn, which would have been a lot better, honestly, um, just for actually clearing. Because this phase was a little bit, um, you know, a little bit like, okay, were we going to kill or not? Um, but luckily, because my trader melee hits super hard, I was able to actually clutch it here, as you guys see. So we do uh, a pretty good amount of damage right there. And then the Summer Dan's going to finish it off. And obviously, the final phase, guys, you just rip the single target with the trader melee, and it's a wrap. Um, but pretty much, I would say, do the keys and above turn one on the person that is running Kizna, and then if you're running the Summer Dian Golther Trader Melly, just drop the rank up, and then uh, you should be okay. And then the rest of your uh, your partner and you should be able to pretty much clear this uh, with little to, to no difficulty, man. And uh, in terms of DPS characters you can run instead of Trader Melly, by the way, guys, you got a lot of options uh, for DPS type characters. You got, um, if we go to the actual heroes list here. Y'all like Ultimate Escanor. You actually can probably run Assault Melee as well. He'll probably be pretty decent. Trader Melee, as you guys saw in the video. And I feel like, I mean, Freya and Freya were probably pretty good too, right? If you're able to get those rank three. So those are the main characters I would recommend um, for actually clearing as the main DPSs. And I guess if you have Rem as well, that's another character I could mention too. Um, but yeah, back to the video here. Let's actually move over to the extreme difficulty now, guys. And we'll talk about how you're actually able to clear that with a free-to-play friendly team as well. Alrighty guys, so in terms of the team comp we are running here for the Lamech Extreme Difficulty, this is actually the team comp that we decided to go with. Um, so in terms of the team comp, you got uh, Brunhild, Green Gother, Danafor Liz, and the backline being Ragnarok Bun. And the reason why we're running this comp is because the less buffs you actually have on your team, um, the more damage you're able to deal because the boss gains less basic stats. And so what we were trying to do here is we, we weren't going for any crazy buffs or anything like that. We were just straight up running DPS characters with rank ups. Right, as you guys can see, I'm running Danafor 
for Liz Green Gother and then the Brunhild. In this slot, instead of Brunhild, you can run like Assault Melee. You will also get the uh, rank up as well, but he will actually buff himself, which could mess up the fight a little bit. But it will, but he will do more damage because of the Amplify in turn. Right, and then in, uh, on Scarce's side, he's actually running Green Gother, Sariel, and Brunhild. So, Sariel is the key here, guys. If you're running Sariel, he will deal a lot of damage. The person that's running Sariel will be pretty much carrying you um, along the fight. Um, as the person that's running Dinafor Liz and, and the Green Gother is pretty much there just to rank up the team. Um, so, now that we've kind of got that, uh, you know, explained here, you guys will watch the fight and kind of see, like, how it works in action, right? Um, I would say that you could probably change uh, Dinafor, or not Dinafor Liz, but the Brunhild. Brunhild maybe for a support buffer. If you want to go with like Helbrim, that might be fine, honestly, so that the Sariel just does just more damage. Um, that might not be a bad idea either. But you got options, right? You got options. So as long as you uh, pretty much are able to rank up um, this side, so as long as you get the rank up because of the Dinoforla is running full green, then the, the partner that you're running with will have a lot of Sariel cards and just go crazy, right? So their Sariel can pretty much carry you um, throughout the entire fight, which you guys will see here that like Sariel is a carry here in terms of the damage you're able to deal. So we do the double rank up as, as you guys can see. So rank up, rank up. And then we do have the AoE with Sariel here, which you guys will see does a lot of damage, right? Um, very good amount. That's around like almost 50%. And then the single target is going to pretty much uh, get the kill right there. Following up with the uh, Dinofor list, we get the Gauge Fill, which is actually really good. Um, so we do get the Gauge Fill and then we waste the other card. So I, now I only need to use one card now to actually get our ultimate, right? Um, and then moving into the second phase there, we get a Green Gother stack. And right here, we're kind of just wasting some of our, uh, our damaging cards, but not really like, you know, too much of our cards here, um, right? So you want to definitely do a Sariel card that turn just to do a good chunk of damage. I do my Brunhill Detonate card just to do, a, you know, a decent amount. Nothing too crazy, right? As you can see, Brunhill's not a crazy DPS character for this. She's mainly here because um, she just relies on just outright damage regardless of having, like, buffs or anything like that. So she is a solid character you can definitely run. And then so right there, as you guys saw, we did top deck the uh, Danifor Liz up because we used that one card. So now we're actually going to get the ultimate. And now in terms of my hand right here, I'm just ripping all my other attack cards that I have left. And Scarson's pretty much going to do the exact same thing with his side, uh, you know, dropping as many Sariel cards as he got and as many, uh, you know, uh, Brandhold cards as he got as well. Um, just to actually finish off the fight. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, though, as you guys can see. Um, fairly straightforward, though, man. I'm, uh, I hope you guys uh, do pretty well on this. Um, again, you don't have to run these free-to-play friendly teams. These are just made so that you guys can, you know, if you don't have all those, like, crazy characters like Ultimate Asin or anything like that, you can definitely run, like, Sariel and a, a Mono Green comp to kind of, you know, make sure you get those, like, rank ups and be able to clear the fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on actually clearing the Lamech uh, Hell and Extreme Difficulty free-to-play friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos, Videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day